I'm Tony Modinos, I'm retired. Um, I've been chair of Artbeat for two, the last two years and I'm still involved. Probably the minutiae of life, how I'm going to get to town, what time's the bus and things like that. Um, the bigger things don't seem to bother me until I read the papers. And then um, I'll get annoyed for a short time and uh, then probably forget about it until the next disaster in the newspapers. I generally don't think about ethical matters and things like that a great deal, but I do have very strong ethics, I think, which I will ignore from time to time when it suits me. <laughs> I find a lot of things annoying is they're just repeats of things that have happened over and over again and people making the same mistakes and I have tried doing things about it. I have been to a ballot box as per recommended procedure and it doesn't seem to work. It's very frustrating, to be honest, to try and even think about such matters where you can't make a real difference. Unless you're willing to put a lot of work into it and start voluntary groups, things like that, and I'm not the sort of person that's willing to do that. That's it, that's it really. That's, you know, um, I'm not sure what I can do to counteract all the world's problems on my own or with anyone else. Um, those in power seem to have power and... They they use their power to make sure they stay there, and uh, I can't see any pro can't see any way out of that. It's pretty clear that we're destroying the world, uh, the environment anyway. And those in power don't seem to want to do anything because they're scared of offending the voters. But I think most of the voters would be pretty much in favour of saving the world. I don't know why they behave the way they do, except for short term gain. And the fact is, of course, that if the world does fall apart then the ones that will be left over will be the rich ones who can afford to hide away in their, their homes and uh, afford to pay the extortionate food prices that will come about or f water for water or whatever and um, so they don't really have any concern about it I don't know why they keep electing them and we don't of course because it's not the governments that have the real power it's the, the people ending up at Davos that have the power they have more power than the governments and this tendency now to split the world up into lots of separate different countries it's only when I see something in the newspaper or on the news that sparks me off again in general I try to avoid thinking about things like that I mean if I go to the supermarket I might buy the thing that's got the least packaging or I might not it's not um, something I think about in my daily life a great deal Strangely enough, I enjoy doing sort of logic puzzles, Sudokus and stuff like that. Um, what else do I do? I, don't, I just generally pass the time of day, you know, with the minute I or oh, is that bag of potatoes a better value than that one or whatever. Um, I can't say I've got any great intellectual... Uh, approach to thinking. I don't think about the great things of life. Uh, I just get on with life, you know. But what am I going to do about painting the house or is my income tax to return due tomorrow or whatever? No, no, when I was younger I used to get involved with politics and things and thought I could help change the world. On occasion I will try and convince them using the power of my logical arguments to to, that they're, they're wrong, but it, it's not something that works. Logic doesn't work against mistaken beliefs. It's, it's like a religion. You can't convince someone to change religion um, just by quoting logic. It doesn't work. So, in general, I might have an interesting conversation with such people, but I don't expect to convert them or change their point of view. Um, the only thing that can do that really is personal experience, I think, of whatever I'm talking about. Like if you sign someone that hates refugees and then suddenly a refugee saves their life, they might change their opinion, but that's on a personal level that will happen. It won't happen because I've told them, oh, that refugees do that daily in Syria or whatever, you know, or in Turkey or wherever they happen to be.